you're going to see the violence and the uprisings happen more and more. And this is a beginning of something that you're going to see in the world. This is not an American thing. You know, they're they're making these into Trump supporters. Well, where are all the... Really? In Germany, those are Trump supporters that are... Those are Trump supporters in Italy and in France that are taking to the streets? I don't think so. These are people that know the difference between right and wrong, know the difference between freedom and authoritarianism. That's what's happening. It's not about Trump. It's about authoritarianism. And that is not going away. Which leads me to this prediction. Gun ownership has already crossed so many lines of uh, popularity. I don't know how many guns we bought last year, but it's now going to cross the lines of the political lines. Uh, the, uh, the, the coast versus the uh, red states. It's going to cross those lines. You're going to see people who thought they were against guns going out and buying guns. And you will see that happening more and more, which will make guns uh, and gun ownership even on the attack even more because you're going to have a lot of people that just went out to buy a shotgun because they wanted to protect themselves because they don't believe the police are going to protect them. And they've never done anything. They didn't grow up in the gun culture. They would never take a class from the NRA. The NRA is evil. Uh, and so they will not be trained to use the guns. That is, that is coming. <sighs> let me take you to... Well, let me take you to war. This one, I want to say it's only a cold war, but I'm not sure that we're going to get that choice. Russia, um, Russia is going to go into the Ukraine. And they have warned us over and over again, you better not do anything or you'll pay a very high price. You better not even put sanctions on us or you will pay a very big price. Putin is not screwing around. Putin, um, well, I think it's this week. Is it this week or next week that the interview with the president comes out? Um, I did an interview with uh, uh, President Trump last week, or I'm sorry, three weeks ago. And uh, it comes out here in the next few days. And he talks about Putin and President Z. Uh, they have Joe Biden's number. They know who he is. Joe Biden just might be dumb enough to play into their hands. But I think we're headed towards at least a serious Cold War with Russia and a serious Cold War with China. Because if Russia goes in to the Ukraine and we do nothing, China will go into Taiwan and we will do nothing and if we do something then i think it will it will cause massive problems uh, I, yeah <laughs> that's uh, maybe an understatement by the way it is this week this uh, the trump interview comes out okay mm -hmm. um so so you know the when i say massive problems next hour i'm going to show you uh what the pentagon is wargaming for and what the um build back better people are preparing for uh it fits right into us responding and china or russia responding to us um so you need to know it i'm, I'm tired of i'm tired of the most important time in my lifetime on the direction of humanity and we're not involved at all that we're, 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 we're not given the information, it's out there, but when you bring it up, people either say, that's crazy, that's not going to happen, uh, or, you know, you're a conspiracy theorist for even bringing it up. 
Things are happening in the world. The, the maps will change in the next few years. The, our society will change. Jobs will change. You will not recognize your life at all by 2030. You won't. And that's even if the best things happen. Things are changing rapidly. So I'll get into the um, economy here just a, a little bit. Gas prices are going to stay high. Now, the Democrats say that they're going to be able to fix these gas prices. So it'll come down, you know, right after the summer. What a surprise it would come down. They predict the lowest price will be in November. <laughs> Shocking. Okay. Wait, they're really saying November? They're really saying November. <laughs> really saying November. That would November. be a stunner. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the prices of fuel in June could climb to $4.13 per gallon. Um, however, gasoline prices expected to, expected to drop to $13.16 per gallon in October or November of this year. What a surprise. Uh that might happen. I don't think they're going to be able to put the genie back in the bottle. What do you do to get your gas prices down? You you have to either import more, which they might do, but where are you going to import it from? The Soviet, uh, the uh, Russia? No. Uh, Saudi Arabia? No. They're now in bed with China. So where does it come? Where does it come from? Food prices are going up. U.S. housing prices? Do you know that the price of a, of the average house went up? 18% in October of last year. Economic turmoil is headed our way. But the good news is there is help coming. My final prediction. Hillary Clinton is going to try to run no, again. No. I bet you. Really? I bet you. Who else do they have? Oh, God. Who else do they have? Well, they do have the sitting president of the United States that I think they're going to try to run. Yeah. No. They also have the sitting vice president of the United States who is certainly wants the unlikable. job. Agreed. They need somebody compliant. They need somebody that can restore sanity. Look, I'm just going to be, I'm oh not that gosh, guy. I They're going to try it again. I know. You think? I do. Because she is, I don't even think, popular with the left. No, she's not. They which don't, they can't also, stand her. Which also goes for uh, the uh, just throw her on the fire. Because nobody, you're going to beat Trump this time? You're going to beat Trump this time? The, it, I just I don't, think they all think they can beat Trump. Well, don't you think to that good luck I mean, they might not be right but i think they all think they can do it i i don't know without any i mean if the republicans take control mm-hmm. it'll be hard for them to because hopefully the republicans will be on it when it comes to uh election fraud mm-hmm. and they will be pushing the states to make sure that you are batting down the hatches oh, they, in all those states. They definitely have looked at that a lot already in, yes. at, at the state level. Correct. But like you, but you know, they, they, I think see Trump as eminently beatable. I mean, I think they think that he's the guy that they can beat. I think they're trying to goad him to run because they think they can beat him where they don't think they can maybe beat a Ron DeSantis in 2024. I mean, again, I'm just throwing that. I know. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I, that they're necessarily right about that, but I think that's what they believe. I think they believe Trump is the most beatable, which is hilarious. I mean, they've already, he's, they've already beaten him. Hillary Clinton is going to try to oh run again in 2024. <laughs> this, uh, if this one's right, it's going to be an amazing crazy. one. This is crazy. Because she should this just go. Please, just go away. Uh, but she's not. No. But she's not. She refuses. She, she at least believes she has a chance in 2024 right now she at least believes it i don't know if the party will believe it but i think it's going to happen <laughs>